I'm on top of the world. Just kidding. Uh, howdy everybody, this is Forrest Anderson, also known as Your Yacht Guy. We are here back once again at the Palm Beach Boat Show, last day of the Palm Beach Boat Show, and why not get you on the biggest boat in the Princess Display. We are on board the X95 today here at the Palm Beach Boat Show, and we're going to give you an exclusive walkthrough tour of this beautiful boat. We're starting here uh, on the top of the world, uh, not really, on the flybridge and what a massive, expansive flybridge that it is here. Um, you can see you have tons of exterior seating here. If you want to lay back and uh, catch some rays, I was doing that during some filming of B-roll, just kidding, not really. Always working, working for you guys. Here is a yet again, a beautiful example of the craftsmanship and the really the thought that goes into every princess. Why well, have some rectangular uh, in the way kind of dining table. This beautiful, feels like we should be uh, have the night, the nights of the round table. So this round table here allows that you to have as many guests up here as you would really like. And although everybody I'm sure wants to see what's behind these massive stacking glass doors, I wanna show you something very, very special up here on the bow. I think you guys will appreciate not going inside yet as we start with one of the, uh, the most exciting features I think on the X95. As we get to the bow, I want you to see how tall everything is. Again, my comment in the beginning on being on top of the world really kind of uh, set the stage for all of the minute details that you might not recognize. But I mean, this gunnel up here on the flybridge, you wanna be safe and secure. This is over my hip, very, very sturdy too. So you're not going anywhere while you're up here. Kids, you don't have to worry about them. I think you guys can see it now. The uh, the surprise I wanted you guys to see up here on the bow, as far forward really as you can go on this flybridge level, you have a hot tub, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this thing, a nice glass walled hot tub here too. Let's see, is it warm? Oh yeah, needs a, need to be jumping in there when we're done with this. Although a little warm today, I don't know if I need a hot tub today. Maybe the other days while well, it was cold and rainy, but today, uh, no need. So you do also have uh, a very beautiful uh, kind of settee down there, uh, down just a few steps going to the uh, bow. We're not gonna necessarily walk down there uh, cause I'm gonna give you another view of that from the owner suite. C-shaped seating here. And again, this is kind of the life of the party. If you're not hanging out on the flybridge in the stern, up here is more than adequate more than adequate. We're gonna head back this way so we can go in on the flybridge. And I'll show you some things in there. Although I'm not going to take you inside that door that we started with at the beginning of the video. I'm going to appear here on your side boarding door, which is really meant to be a uh, captain access door more so than anything. Because as you see, we are here at the helm on board this X95 and what a helm it is. Wow, look at this thing. You really feel like you're running a, a mega yacht on this bad boy. We call these the Rolls Royces of the water, and this is just one of the many reasons. It's got a Rolls Royce style emblem here on the uh, steering wheel. So although I'm steering this, that Princess Tierra is staying flat. I love it. Just little minute things like that that just add up to a beautiful, beautiful boat. So. Quick numbers here, 250,000 pounds roughly, displacement weight, um, full load weight. Um, cruise right around 18, 19 knots, um, 18 to 20 knots cruise, top end right around 24 knots depending on the conditions. Man V12, uh, 2000 horsepower engines on this and well over a 450 mile nautical range, 480 or 479 I believe to be exact. If you are one of the many owner operators that we have here in the Princess family, because yes, we do have owner operators, even up into the 95 foot class. Why not have some of your guests come and join you while you're running the boat? Nice little U-shaped dinette here. Great to, uh, for your guests to come up with their glass of tea or coffee in the morning and uh, come check on you if you've been running for a few hours in the morning. And again, at 250,000 pounds, this thing, you really could probably take off and start your day without waking too many of your guests. It is pretty incredible. 
fantastic wet bar here uh, just aft of the captain's quarters. Obviously, if you're serving drinks, you would want to close that partition and leave the captain up there in order to not tempt him with uh, drinking while driving. We don't, we don't mess around with that up here. But you do have, again, tons of storage and a fantastic wet bar. If this is where the uh, party is being hosted, easy to kind of keep everybody in here if, God forbid, the, uh, the weather is less than adequate. You also do have a wet bar outside on the uh, flybridge on the exterior side. So if everybody's hanging out around that round table back there, um, you don't have to come inside. This is an additional day head here. Um, I do want to point out that this is your seventh head. So this boat has five staterooms and seven heads, not including the outstanding beach club we'll end with. As we head down this very elegant indoor staircase that connects the flybridge from your indoor living area, I want to point out just the natural colors and the palette choice that Princess uses. Um, very natural colors, the whites, the grays, the real uh, wood, you can see the grain in the wood. It just goes to a little bit more elegant uh, experience on board a Princess yacht. Even the partitions, like the glass partitions that separate the staircase, or I'm going to show you as we go to your staterooms, the kind of wood slatted uh, partition, it's just very, very elegant. I can't overuse that word enough when we're on board a uh, princess. Elegance is key. The guys in Plymouth, England, the craftsmanship that they do there at this factory. Outstanding. Um, we are in your galley now here on the X95. Plenty, plenty of uh, accommodations on board this X95 in terms of really you could go away for a super extended amount of time. Look at that double refrigerator. That's nicer than my apartment. You also do have ref uh, freezer drawers uh, below the refrigerators. And again, more than enough of them that you could go away for quite an extended period of time. If you wanted to make this more of a charter style boat, you could close that um, door off to your guests and make this galley a serve style galley. As we exit our galley area here, and again, that can be closed off, you'll see a very fantastic wet bar area here. So again, the idea is if you were chartering um, this boat, or you making it into a charter boat, you could very, very easily have a stew or a mate here serving all of your guests in the salon. And then again, quick, nice, easy access up to that additional salon on your flybridge. Back here, you do have uh, an ice maker, sink, trash can, um, and some liquor storage. Very important. Continuing with that theme that we had upstairs, that Knights of the Round Table, um, you do have an, an additional round table here, which is very close to the galley. So if you did need an interior dining room, this would kind of be it. Another thing I would like to bring to your attention is I am, I'm not talking very quietly, and you don't hear any echoes. We are in probably the biggest part of this boat and probably one of the biggest parts in any boat arguably at the Palm Beach Boat Show and you hear zero echoing. There's none of this uh, honeycombed uh, wood anywhere. It's all real natural materials that again go into this quarter of a million pound boat. 250,000 pounds you get real nice stuff. And again, this is no exception. So if you guys have seen, although you probably haven't, as this is the premiere for the Palm Beach Boat Show, the Y95 is almost identical from about here down. The running surface and really the lower accommodations are all just about the same as the uh, debuting Y95. So if you like what you see here and maybe aren't a fan of the inverted uh, style of the windshield or the enclosed flybridge. Maybe we discuss the Y95. I want to take you guys downstairs again noting the beautiful partitions and all of the natural colors. As we head down here this is kind of your midship if you will and again I mentioned this boat has five staterooms and seven heads not including the uh, wonderful beach club. So if 
let's say this uh, is becoming a popular theme. If you wanted to go into this boat as a partnership, this could very, very easily be an additional owner suite. I mean, th there is nothing missing here in this to make it an owner suite, other than when I take you to the owner suite, you'll see why this is not. Full beam, midship, um, very nice island berth here, massive, massive windows on either side. Once again, you get that feeling. You're just so low and close to nature and close to the water. It's just princess, again, fantastic job. Round of applause to you guys. Um, this is the walk-in uh, closet here in the VIP. Again, guys, keep in mind, this is not the tr true owner suite on this boat. And then um, to the port side, or to you guys' right as you walk into the room, um, is a very, very elegant, all the stonework in this uh, head just kind of leaves me in awe. Leaves me with my jaw down, kind of mouth open expression, if you will. And again, I hate to sound like a broken record, but this is not the owner suite. It's very incredible to me. I mentioned before the partitions in this. I love this slatted wood partition here. It's just, again, elegance. Elegance, elegance, elegance. We'll step in. These are kind of identical staterooms um, to port and starboard here. Both, again, do have an ensuite head um, and can slide here if you wanted to make this a single kind of full bed stateroom as opposed to the twin bunks. This is fantastic if you have kids though kind of give them their own space. Directly across the hall, I did kind of misspeak just a little bit because they're not identical. This actually has a pull down or a fold down bunk as well. Spin this lock out of the way and this is going to articulate out and give you a third bed down here. So really could if your kids are bringing along friends, stick them in here and everybody's got a bed. Fantastic. As we move towards the bow on this X95, we are in kind of the fourth stateroom, if you will, uh, and that is the fourth stateroom down here. Again, ha every stateroom below has an ensuite head, uh, as you'll notice here, as well as some very accommodating hanging lockers. Very nice and deep. Technically, I guess this is a walk-in closet. Having some fun here. Um, again, just look at the natural colors and the palette that Princess chose to use on board this X95. Now, I do wanna point out, this is uh, the satin finish. There are a couple of different finishes that uh, Princess offers, including high gloss, which may be something that you would want to explore. As I said, I saved the best for last. However, before we get there, I do have to point out one additional head, because as I mentioned, this boat does have five staterooms and seven heads. Why would you not want a day head right here near the salon? Princess, once again, round of applause to those guys in England. You just, you think of everything and you leave nothing left to be desired. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is time the forward on deck master here, or forward on deck owner suite, as we say today. This stateroom just leaves, it, it, you're feeling like you just walked out of the Ritz Carlton or something. I don't know how else to describe it other than luxury. Just look at these massive windows, including a bow window. I like watching TV in the morning, but I don't know if I would ever raise this TV. I would just wanna watch like the weather and look out to the bow outstanding shots here nice little uh settee out there on the bow so if you wanted to you could hang out there and watch whoever sleeping i guess if you're into that kind of thing um as i mentioned this is the same lower uh portion as the y95 and as the y95 this is a non uh planing hull so even though you can cruise this boat at 18 19 20 knots if you wanted to and top it out at 24, you're not going to get that real uh, bow slam. So ideally, uh, hypothetically, I guess, 
you could still be sleeping here or whoever could be sleeping while your captain is running you in the morning uh, or moving the boat to your next destination. You do have a very pretty ensuite head here. And again, being the owner suite or the uh, forward on deck owner suite, you would expect to have a very accommodating head and that you do. Heated towel racks, very nice uh, partitioned uh, toilet here as well as a very, very beautiful shower here with a rainfall shower head. I am not necessarily a short guy by any means and I have more than enough room to rinse my armpits if you know what I mean. But again, plenty, plenty of room in the partitions. Once again, I probably sound like a broken record, but just the elegance and how pretty it is just to use glass, just show what's behind it. It's simple things. And although you don't necessarily have a walk-in closet here, you do have more than enough hanging locker uh, space to, again, go away for quite a, an extended period of time, both sides. You could really make this his and hers if you wanted to. Two doors on there. And right aft of the owner suite, although you do have a crew quarter, you have a washer and a dryer very, very nice to give you that uh, ability to go away for weeks at a time if you wanted to. Let's head on aft and go to the cockpit now. And now, instead of walking all the way aft, we can head out this beautiful side door to head to our cockpit. Although you do have those stacking, uh, very nice large salon doors aft, why not sneak out the side? One thing I would love to point out, other than, again, the height and safety that Princess does a phenomenal job of, is I really, really enjoy having a covered walkway. You don't realize, but every once in a while, us captains that have to move boats have to do that in the rain. And in order to do that, we don't necessarily want to get soaking wet when we go to put out our lines. So Princess does a fantastic job. We have a overhang here on the side walkways makes it very convenient for us that are spending time out on the water. Ah, here it is, the beautiful cockpit on board this X95. Everything you could need to accommodate quite a large party or uh, just hang out intimately with your family. You'd have a wet bar there and again, access to the flybridge uh, exterior-wise and the large salon stacking doors. Engine room access, um, just in the deck here in case you had to hand down some uh, buckets or tools or what have you. But you also do have access through the beach club or the crew quarter to walk in just like a gentleman into the uh, engine room. As you see here, uh, U-shaped or C-shaped uh, settee here or dinette. That center piece in the uh, table here will come out in case you wanted to walk through and make that more of a uh, breakfast nook, if you will. Why not hang out here and uh, enjoy your uh, croissants or a tea in the morning? Again, you do have the wet bar there, although down here, really some magic happens back here. We have a transformer uh, platform as opposed to just the typical platform that you're used to. This actually will lift up and then articulate out and drop your tender down into the water. Very, very cool. We call it the uh, the dance platform, if you will, because it kind of raises up. So when it's back there sunk all the way in where you guys are, um, it is flush mounted completely. You do have two inserts to kind of complete that look, but then it'll fold back on itself and close down very, very nice. And again, why not bust a move out here on the, uh, the dance floor, you know what I mean? Now, as I have been mentioning, the beach club on this boat. Again, some magic happens back here. This entire back wall, including this door, which will be shut when you do that, will articulate up and make this a huge, very open, um, free-flowing beach club. If you look, you can kind of get a quick little shot of it and how massive that beach club is over there on the Y95. Again, Y95, X95, from about the salon down is roughly the same uh, same boat. We'll head down and in. So typically this door is going to be used as a crew quarter door. And then when it's you're using it as a beach club, it's going to be folded up uh, on these hinges up here. 
So as a beach club, the idea here is to be really connected to nature and kind of create your own beach. Imagine this is up and out, kind of allowing some natural light in the breeze through here. You do have a little wet bar here, again, a wet bar just there in the cockpit. So now nothing's ever too, too far away, but some nice seating down here. And then the idea is you're gonna put out some very uh, lovely furniture out there on your dance platform, your swim platform that will drop down and in. And the idea, if you lower it about six inches into the water or so, and you put out some nice recliners, oh, it just sets such a mood. It's uh, fantastic. I don't know how else to describe it, but it seems like that's probably the best way to have the kids go swimming because then they can swim right back up to the uh, swim platform. As I mentioned, this boat is five staterooms, seven heads, without including the crew quarters. The crew quarters, technically, if you're an owner operator, could very, very easily be used in an additional stateroom if you have all of your friends on board at once. This is technically the captain's quarters, um, has a little bit larger of a bed. This is, would be considered a full bed with an ensuite head here, um, including a shower. Very, very nice. And he can kind of, or she, could close this off and make this their own stateroom. Outside of the captain's uh, quarters, if you will, uh, the day head or the head for the additional two staterooms in this crew quarter, crew members would have two uh, beds here. And then just beyond that, you have space for an additional two crew members. So you really could have a crew of six on board this boat, no problem. Again, the idea is you could make this a charter boat um, and turn it into a business if you wanted to, as opposed to just using it for personal use. Ah, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the beast, the man, V12, 2000 horsepower. Again, I'm not a very short guy. I don't have a ton of room. I can't do dump, jumping jacks in here, but I'm not hunched over. I'm not kind of crouched down and in. These man V12 2000s really have enough room to breathe and kind of get worked on. God forbid you ever had to get them worked on. What do you guys think of the engine room on this X95? Now, if you remember or recall from earlier in the video, you do have a washer and a dryer up right outside of the owner suite. However, again, you do have spot for six crew on this boat. So why not, if you have the crew with you, allow them to do your laundry. I know I would if I were on board this and had options. But again, if you wanted to be an owner operator, you could certainly use that and save yourself from coming down into the crew quarters. Speaking of coming down into the crew quarters, you see how we entered through the um, beach club area. However, that is not the only entrance to the crew quarter. Again, if you wanted to make this a charter style boat, you could. The crew quarter has their own access without ever interrupting that beach club. And just outside is, again, incredible, incredible use of space. Your fold down uh, aft docking station. Just magnificent, magnificent. Really allows you to see the uh, full port side of the boat here. All right, guys, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for tuning in to this beautiful X95 here at the Palm Beach International Boat Show 2024. It's time for me to bid you adieu, get in this hot tub and start enjoying the rest of the day. Just kidding. I am here to uh, answer any of your questions or all of your questions. If you have any, just leave them in the uh, comment section below or feel free to get me on Instagram at your yacht guy. Again, for SI Yachts and Princess, this has been an exclusive walkthrough. I'm Forrest Anderson. Thank you very much.